In this video, I'm going to demonstrate setting up the Wi-Fi Pineapple Tetra in Linux. So let's get started. The first step is to plug my computer into the Wi-Fi Pineapple's ETH port using the supplied USB Y cable. Between the pair of USB 3 ports on my laptop, I'm providing about 10 watts of power, which is sufficient for the update process, and you can learn more about the specific power considerations of this beastly device over at wifipineapple.com slash Tetra, which is where we'll head to download the latest firmware. So let's go ahead and download the latest firmware and save it to our downloads folder. And with that, I'll want to verify my connection to the Wi-Fi Pineapple Tetra by running ifconfig in a terminal. And you'll notice that in addition to ETH0, which is my laptop's built-in Ethernet, I also have ETH29, and I've received an IP address from it in the 172.16.42 range. Yours will most likely be ETH2 or 3. Now with that, we can come over to 172.16.42.1 colon 1471 and continue the setup process. We'll click continue. And now for security purposes, we'll need to press the button on the back of the Wi-Fi Pineapple Tetra and click continue. Then we click choose file and select our upgrade bin and click upgrade. This process takes just a few minutes, so be patient and wait for the light to go out and then start blinking and finally go solid, at which point we'll be ready to continue setup. The blue light is solid, which means the firmware update is complete, and now we're greeted with the welcome screen. So if not, hit refresh, and it's just a matter of clicking getting started. From here, once again, we will press the button on the back of the Wi-Fi Pineapple Tetra to verify ownership. And from here, we fill out the form to complete the setup. Once again, we'll log in. And at this point, we can set up internet connection sharing. We can do this by downloading the WP5 script from wifipineapple.com slash wp6.sh, make that executable, and run that as root. Alternatively, we can plug a live network cable into the Tetra's ethernet port and click load bulletins from the dashboard to verify. And so with that, our Wi-Fi Pineapple Tetra is online. We've loaded bulletins. We can now go forward to download modules over the air. And I look forward to hearing your comments. So please let us know what you think. And with that, I will see you on the Wi-Fi Pineapple forums.